It's gonna be okay. Hey, do you feel like you aren't progressing fast enough with your instrument? And are you carrying the weights of various emotions like self-doubt, uncertainty, humiliation, inadequacy? Well, you know what? Don't worry about it because everyone has experienced what you are feeling on some level. And we all have questioned our abilities as musicians and other areas of our lives. We all have experienced self-doubt and we all have lacked confidence in some area. It's normal. And like the famous quote says, the worst enemy to creativity is doubt by Sylvia Plath. So what we gotta figure out is how to knock down those pins of doubt and just using our faith. And we gotta remember that when you're out of your comfort zone, it causes growth. So let's look at how to overcome self-doubt when playing an instrument. And if you like this video, at the end, please like. Now, you can see yourself up on the billboards and that inner you can see the greatness that lies within. But somehow, we still doubt. And it's hard to believe sometimes because we're wondering if we're good enough. And will all your practice be worth it? So number one, you've got to just say, I will not have doubt in myself. And that means you might have to write down some positive affirmations. You might have to read your scriptures. You might have to do some research on some positive attributes that will help you along the way. And here's a big one. Cut the TV off. Because with all that's going on in the world, it can cause us to be so distracted. All the negativity is being put into our subconscious and we don't even know it. Number two, de-stress. Take a ride down a country road. Get out, enjoy nature. You may have to just go take a walk or just go take a jog because it will help your stress and your anxiety. And it doesn't matter how you do it. It has health benefits. And self-care is important for us musicians because it's gonna help our heart. And number three, you gotta focus. Continue to practice. Write notes to yourself. Practice your scales. And write down your goals. And remember, you have got to not let anyone take you off of where you're trying to go. Stay focused. Number four, surround yourself around positive people. Creative musicians, they will help you along the way. And you may have to have a mentor or someone that's got your back, someone that can show you and teach you and encourage you. Number five, the big one, stop comparing yourself to others. You will get there. You can't compare yourself to someone that's been playing for 20, 30 years. Because remember, you, you, right where you are now, you the bomb. You are the bomb. And you gotta remember that artistry is not about being a copy of another person. It's about being yourself, being who you are. Bring your uniqueness, your ideas, and your voice to the creative world of music. And remember, creativity, it's a gift. Don't take it lightly because a lot of people wish they could play an instrument or write songs or be a writer. And your time is valuable. Don't waste it. Find your purpose. And I know that being a musician is not always a simple path. Mastering an instrument requires energy and perseverance. And it does require a constant climb and constant growth. But just pace yourself and find a balance so that you don't burn yourself out because you are a winner. And lastly, we've got to be an example because
because there are little mini me's or mini you's that watch everything that we do and they want to be just like us. So let's make a positive impact on their lives so that they can make a positive impact on the world. The end. <laughs> I enjoyed making this video for you and I hope that you liked it. If you did, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. And remember, don't miss a uh.